Hi there everybody, Bold and Curious here. So, this is the third gun that I wanted you to guess. Only one person actually guessed uh, SIG 320 and the HK. And uh, I don't know why the hell nobody guessed Smith & Wesson when I said that I shot at their facility this year. I posted the video of uh, me shooting Indo Nationals and uh, also, if you follow me on Instagram, I hinted and posted a picture of this. So, when we shot at the Smith & Wesson Internationals, uh, Smith & Wesson gave us a, a, a 30, was it 30? Yeah, 30% 30 off MSRP of any gun from their catalog. So, I'm not big on uh, shields and MMPs and whatnot. Uh, I already have a 319 11th. So... There's only one thing that you really want from uh, Smith & Wesson and that is a revolver. Now, me being a competition shooter and I already have a carry revolver, my uh, Kiapa Rhino that I really like, there's only one possible solution to buy. And that is buying Jerry Mitchell X 929. Here's a legend signature, and this is a big ass gun. This is pretty much built for the i core and the uh, USPSA. Uh, probably steel match if you want. And uh, this is not IDPA gun because it's too long. Uh, the compensator can come off, and it's eight shots, so it's really no no advantage in uh, IDPA. Can you carry this? Hell yeah. Uh, I don't know why. Would you? There's better guns. Uh, you probably want a 38 357 8 shot for carry. This is this is a purely race gun. So I was gonna go shoot it today but it's kind of crappy weather so I'll go tomorrow. This is the stuff that you get in a, in a box. The moon clips. Uh, I believe this is so you can take the the compensator off. You can take the compensator off and just replace that. This way I can shoot it in the I-Core. Otherwise I gotta shoot it as an open. And you got the lock, the manual, and the wrench. Uh, I believe the wrench is for the compensator. Yep. So it comes with a adjustable elevation and a, a vintage rear sight. Uh, just a blade in the front so it's really uh target sights and i'll give you a couple of moon clips uh, i'm pretty sure i need a couple more of those now i don't know the first thing about a uh, competition shooting a revolver other than you know it's different and i figure what the hell might as well try something different so let me get uh let me get a couple of a couple of practice rounds and let's see how it works okay I don't think they gave me tool. Yeah, I don't see any tool for loading the moon clips. Uh, Lucky like Upper Rhino gave me. But uh, let's see how hard it is. Now these are, you see there's no primer, so don't, don't get nuts. Alright, it's not super hard, but I guess the gotta get me a tool. And I guess I can't count. Here's number eight. I should really put like a fill it up with a hot glue or something, or put a rubber grommets. But anyway, so I was I was doing some research online, reading up what the guys do, and uh, oh man, this is real nice, easy. I should mention this this is a titanium cylinder, uh, and uh, a lot of people say that 
performance center is not what it used to be, that there's a lot of problems. I mean, now I'm looking at this gun, I don't see anything cockeyed, everything looks fine. The, you know, from what I can tell, the cylinder locks are pretty good. Everything is pretty smooth. Uh, a lot of people are talking about chamfering the, the cylinder. Now, uh, I don't know if that's necessary. Now, what everybody's talking about is that this gun needs a trigger job. And, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a semi-auto a shooter, mostly a, a single double action, and I'm a trigger snob. And obviously, single action is, is like, forget it, nothing. But this gun will probably never be shot at, at a single action. You know, it's gonna be all double action. Only reason should single action would be like a target shot, or let's say you gotta take a long shot, precise shot, so maybe. But, uh, but the double action trigger on this gun is actually pretty decent. I, I gotta get me a freaking scale. But I'm gonna say, I mean, it's got like eight, nine pound range, but it's it's smooth. So let's compare it to my benchmark gun, okay? Grandpa X Caliber. Obviously, we're comparing two different guns, but here's a double action in Excalibur, and I believe this is I don't know about seven pounds. Smooth. Now this one is definitely heavier. Yeah, but probably at least two pounds. But it's not longer. And it's just as just as smooth. So I don't know. I will shoot a couple of times. We'll see what's gonna happen. I might bring it to a gunsmith and have him. Uh, just mess with the trigger, maybe change some springs, just lighten it up a little bit. I don't know how much I'm going to stick with this revolver thing, but I want to give it a shot. Uh, I'm just going to go get some basic holster and uh, a moon clip holder and a couple, couple more moon clips. And uh, for the next month or two, all the local competition, I'll just shoot this. I'll even shoot it at the IDPA, even though it's not IDPA legal. Uh, at a local level, they, they kind of kind of uh, outlaw matches so they don't care hell i'm shooting a three gun match tomorrow if i had a holster for this i would shoot this at a three gun i mean eight rounds ten rounds not that big of a difference and i can see myself loading this pretty fast all right enough yapping for now i'll give you a little close-up of this beauty As always, everybody, have fun. Keep shooting.